What up, guys? It's a I'm here at White Lap, and I'm going to show you guys a class sneak peek that will be coming to HQ very soon. Now, AE has allowed me to design them a class and able to show you guys a sneak peek on my channel. Now, how crazy is that? But before looking at these skills, I shall tell you that these skills are still in development and they're still intense, so be sure while looking at them. Now, I do not have the damage, or nor do I have the animations, but I can show you guys the class overview in the class description. Right, let's pull up the overview right now. As you see, it's your simple warrior fighter build. Uh, the two key points are strength and endurance. More endurance than strength, other than the dragon mode build who has more strength than endurance. The mana regeneration, how you gain mana, is from striking an enemy in combat or are struck in by an enemy in combat. Basically, hitting and being hitting in combat are the only two ways for you to gain mana. Alright guys, let's proceed on to the auto attack. You know, if this auto attack is something very different that I like to, I wanted to try. It's called Tail Lash. Our chicks don't fight with their hands. They use their tails having a bit more range than anyone else. Cool down two seconds. Physical skill and the range is medium. Now, when you think about the skill, it only it's just a simple auto attack, sort of. It does 100% weapon damage, but instead short range, close range. It's able to hit the target from medium range if anyone has Dragon Lord, uh, the Curse Blade, and Cleave medium range. So you have to be right on the opponent to inflict damage. Alright, guys, let's proceed on to the first skill. It's called Bind. Wrap the target with your tail, squeezing them, causing moderately strong damage. Applies Binding, reducing their haste and damage output by 15% for 8 seconds. Applies Focus on the target, making them attack you for the duration. The user cannot use their auto attack for the duration as well. Now, mana 18, cooldown 14 seconds. It's a physical skill and the range is mana. Basically, this is your main damage sourcing move. You want to hit this probably almost every time, depending on your fight style or what the situation is in the battle. But with a good debuff, lowering their haste and damage output by 15%, the skill can loop the, um, the debuff duration is twice as long as the cooldown, so if you get a haste debuff on yourself, there's not really too much problem with the long duration and the low cooldown. But at the price of that, you lose your auto attack as well. The skill does 275 weapons, 275 percent weapon damage. When you think of that, that hits pretty hard. That's like hitting a, a jackhammer that does 225, but a little bit more damage with debuffing moves and can crit, but it causes your auto attack as well. Alright guys, let's proceed on to the second skill. It's called Mark of the Chasm. It powers yourself with the might of the chasm, doubling your crit chance and crit damage by 35%, but lowers your damage output by 15% for 12 seconds. Mana 23, cooldown 15 seconds. It's a physical magical skill and the range of status. Basically, this is um a kind of a give and take move. It doubles your chance to crit and increases your crit damage by 35%, but it lowers your damage output by 15%. People know how devastating and critical strike damaging buffs and crits are. So, to make the class even, I lowered the damage output as well, doing a little bit more damage output than your normal before you buff this skill, but it does a little bit more with the crit strike and critical damage buff as well. Alright guys, let's move on to the third skill. It's called Clone. For a small cost of your health, you are able to clone yourself, negating all damage for 4 seconds. Cooling on 6 seconds, physical skill, and the range of status. Basically, I always wanted to put this on a class. Be able to clone yourself for a fifth of your health. So it takes one fifth of your health, which is a pretty a good amount of damage, especially with this class that does not have any abilities to heal. So I believe it's perfectly balanced. For a fifth of your health, you negate all damage to yourself for 4 seconds. You can constantly use this in your build. Excuse me, you can constantly use this move, negating your damage, but you will take a good chunk of health as well. Alright guys, let me pull up the class overview again, and show you guys the rank 4 passives. The first one is Archduke's Vision. Increases hit chance by 15%. This class needs its hit chance, especially without its auto attack, just to debuff the opponent and do good damage. You're going to need some hit chance to um, constantly hit your opponent, especially with those tricky evasives. Alright, and the second rank for passive is Teachings of the Chasm. Increases mana regeneration and crit damage by 25%. Now, this sounds like a lot. This class does not have an auto attack. Well, it does have one, but when you use Bind, you will be negated from your auto attack. So, you need some type of way to gain mana back. Now, when I thought about this, 
of course, you're going to need better mana regeneration. So the stronger, you, the harder you hit them, the more mana you get back. And the critical damage with the critical strike giving you need more successful mana than you ever have with the rank four passive. So this really, excuse me, this really keeps the class balance and whatnot. All right, guys. So let's proceed on to the last skill. It's called bind. Excuse me. It's called constrict. If bind is in play, deals moderate damage and applies a high de high damage over time for 10 seconds. If bind is not in play, stuns the target for five seconds but does zero damage. Mana 36, cooldown 15 seconds. So physical skill and the range is close. Basically, if you have bind on the opponent, the skill does moderate damage. It does not do a lot. Only 180 percent of damage. But it applies a high DOT, a 300 to 400 DOT to hang on the attack power for 10 seconds. Just imagine that DOT, like you'd be fighting your blood with a brawl and be able to get this constrict on him. They're trying to run back to the safe zone and the DOT just takes him out. Just takes him out the game. That's what basically what this goes for, for the high DOT and for allowing your other opponents to buff the DOT as well. Since it's lingering so long. If Bond is not in play, it's kind of have that Star Lord feeling. It stuns the target for 5 seconds, but it deals zero damage. With the massive mana cost of 15 seconds, I believe 5 seconds is a, a decent, sec, a decent um, second amount for the skill. Just to keep the class balanced, if you don't want to negate your auto attack, you have something to rely on as well. Alright guys, that basically sums up this, um, this little class sneak peek as I showed you guys the um, skills and whatnot. Uh, let me know what you think of in the comments. Would you use this class? What's something that you would change? Alright guys, I'm out. I'm sick. Catch you guys later. See ya. I am my father's son, cause he's a fan, so I'm a mystery, and that leaves me nothing! Many times if you wanted to die, it's too late for me! I don't want to do it, get rid of me! You can't, you can't.